Good morning. Good morning, lovely Rosalind. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's nice to see you too. You could knock. You know what I've got with me? Well, how would I know? Pauling's manuscript. All right. All right. Look, I really I mean, Pauling's going to be publicly humiliated in two weeks when this thing is published, and you, you don't even want to see it? Why would I want to see it? To gloat, for one. <laughs> you should see Brad. He's walking on water these days. Linus isn't going to beat me this time. <laughs> you see, he made some of the same mistakes Crick and I made. He's proposing a triple-stranded helix with the phosphates on the inside. That's what this rush to publish does. It means our publications are littered with ridiculous mistakes. Do you think the DNA is a helix? I'm happy to arrange a time to sit down with you and discuss my findings. Right now is not possible, unfortunately. So Morris thinks you're anti-helical. Morris has no business saying who or what I am. So you think it is helical? I think it might be. <laughs> Are you sure you're interpreting your data correctly? What did you just say? How much theory do you have? Why are you here, Jim? To share. Oh, really? I don't know. I thought you'd be interested in the manuscript. I thought... Yes? I thought we could talk. But you've never shown any interest in doing that before. Which leads me to believe that you're here to insult me. <laughs> that, or you're not aware of the fact that you are insulting me, which is perhaps <laughs> worse. I mean, do you think, if you demoralize me, that I won't get it done? Get what done? The work, Jim! 